you a story about Goldilocks and the Three Bears. There once was a family of bears that lived in a beautiful little house in the forest. On most days, Papa Bear worked in a sawmill, while Mama Bear looked after Baby Bear. On a bright sunny morning, Mama Bear made a big pot of porridge for their breakfast. She poured it into their three bowls. The big bowl was for Papa Bear, the medium bowl was for Mama Bear, and the small bowl was for Baby Bear. It's still too hot to eat, said Papa Bear. Let's all go for a walk in the forest. When we come back, the porridge will be cool and ready to eat. The bears set off on their walk. A short time later, a little girl named Goldilocks came walking in the forest. She had lost her way and she was now very tired and hungry. How happy she was to see the little cottage. Goldilocks hurried to the door and knocked on it. When no one answered, she tried the doorknob. Since it was not locked, she went inside. It was a very neat and tidy little house. Goldilocks saw the bowls of porridge on the table. Oh, that smells good, she said. She tried Papa Bear's big bowl of porridge and said, Oh, it's too hot. She tried Mama Bear's medium-sized bowl of porridge and said, Oh, it's too cold. She tried Baby Bear's little bowl of porridge and said, Oh, this is just right. She soon ate it all up. Next, she went to sit down for a rest. First, she tried Papa Bear's chair, but it was much too big. Then, she tried Mama Bear's chair, and that was also too big. And then, she sat on Baby Bear's chair, and it was just the right size. Goldilocks was bigger than Baby Bear and much too heavy for his little chair. There was a loud crack. The chair suddenly broke into pieces, and she tumbled to the floor. Goldilocks was startled. Then she picked herself up and soon found her way upstairs to the bedroom. First, she tried lying down on Papa Bear's big bed. It was much too hard. Then she tried Mama Bear's bed. It was much too soft. At last, she tried Baby Bear's little bed, and it was just right. She was so comfortable and warm that she soon found fell fast asleep. It wasn't long before the bears came back to their house. In the kitchen, Papa Bear exclaimed, Someone has been tasting my porridge. Mama the Bear said, Someone has been tasting my porridge too. Then Baby Bear cried out, Someone has been tasting my porridge and they've eaten it all up. Papa Bear saw that his chair wasn't in its usual place. Someone has been sitting on my chair, he growled. Someone has been sitting on my chair too, said Mama Bear. Someone has been sitting on my chair, cried Baby Bear, and they've broken it to pieces. Then the bears went upstairs to the bedroom. Papa Bear saw that the pillow on his bed wasn't in its usual place. Someone has been in my bed, he said. Someone has been been in my bed too, said Mama Bear. Goodness, someone is fast asleep in my bed, shouted Baby Bear. At the sound of the loud voices, Goldilocks woke up. Just imagine her shock when she looked into the faces of the three bears. Papa Bear growled louder. Goldilocks jumped out of the bed and ran for the door. The little girl ran downstairs and out of the front door as fast as she could go. She didn't turn around to look back until she was almost home. When she saw that the bears were not chasing her, she said to herself, I will never, never go into other people's home without being invited again. The end. Thank you.